Well, good morning, everyone. It's so good to be with you today. Today, I want to start off by showing you something I have with me. Look at this, a special gift, right? A special present. What is the special, what is the greatest gift that you guys have ever been given? Tell me, raise your hand, the greatest gift you've ever been given before. What do you think? Oh, I love your answer, Jesus. I love that. That's great. Yes. Jesus in your heart. James. Oh, that's precious. Yeah, absolutely. And then what did you say? God. What do you think? Hey, uh, what is it? Oh, Caleb is, is your most special gift. I love that. It's great. Okay. Yes. What do you think? What? Your Switch. I'm assuming that's a Nintendo Switch. Okay. Got it. Um, any other gifts? Your, your, your favorite gift. Okay. And also your family, right? Those are precious gifts that God has given to you. Well, today I want to talk about something that your parents have probably said before, and, and maybe they know the answer to this, but there's this phrase, can you guys say, means of grace? Can you say that? Now, that's a big word. That's a big, big phrase there, means of grace. But basically what that means is those are the ways that God has chosen to give you His gifts, right? And one of the ways that He gives His gifts is through His special Word. So today, when you came to church today, you got to hear God's special gift of forgiveness of all of your sins, and you heard that spoken to you. And those are Jesus' words, that He has forgiven you through His Word. Now, one of the other ways, in fact, you got to see this happen this morning too. You got to see just over there at our baptismal font, you got to see how God took some water, and He gave, and He put His Word with water, and He gave His special gift of forgiveness of sins and salvation and the Holy Spirit to Mr. James Luther today. So those, that's one of the other ways that God chose to use as a means or way of giving His special gift, water and His Word together. Isn't that great? Now, another way that you guys are going to be learning, and as you get closer to confirmation, as you guys get closer and you learn more about it, you're going to be getting this other special means of grace, this other special gift, and that is communion. That's where God takes His Word, like I just mentioned, His Word, and he uses that word with some wine and some bread, and he uses that to give us his body and his blood in the bread and the wine to give us the special gifts of forgiveness of our sins and salvation, and he strengthens our faith, our trust in him. So when you guys get closer to that age, when you're in middle school, when you're getting closer, as you learn more, you're going to be getting this special gift too. And those are called the means of grace. Can you say means of grace? Is that special where God takes His Word and He attaches it to something that we can taste and we can feel, right? And He uses that to give us His forgiveness. Isn't that great? But the most common thing that we find in the means of grace is God's Word. So I want to encourage you guys to remember to keep on coming to church, keep on hearing God's Word, keep reading it with your families, and remember that you have been given the most precious gift of all. As you notice in this box, I put a special cross. A very precious lady gave me this cross, this little pocket cross, to remind me of a gift given to me and to you, that Jesus died on the cross and He rose from the dead to forgive you all of your sins. And the way that you get that is through the gift of faith, through trust in Jesus, okay? So remember that you have the most precious gift of all that Jesus earned and did for you, okay? Now, today I'm going to give you a gift, as I always do, Hershey's chocolate. So, and again, as I've done before, make sure you guys take some of these and share them with other people and remind them of the precious gift that they've been given, too, of forgiveness of their sins from Jesus. But let's go, let's go ahead and pray first. Ready? Let's fold our hands together. Let's bow our heads, and let's pray to Jesus who's with us right now. Ready? All right. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving us the gift of forgiveness. Help us to share you with others. Amen. 
All right, come forward and get your chocolate.